If you arrive here as a five-year-old with leprosy, what is your rest of your life supposed to be like? You were brought here to die. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. The Hawaiian island of Molokai may look like paradise, but for over 150 years, this isolated piece of land was a prison for victims of Hansen's disease, also known as leprosy. In the mid-1800s, Molokai's remote Kaluapapa village was created to quarantine leprosy patients, many of them children, brought here against their will. The vast majority would never leave. I will say, like, it is so secluded. I mean, they must have felt totally forgotten by the rest of the world. With natural barriers like these 1,600-foot sea cliffs, getting here was hard enough, and getting out was nearly impossible. After descending to the village by mule, our guide Norman took us on a tour of the grounds. January of 1866, the first patients were brought here. There were uh, nine men and three women in that boat. So those first 12 people, they were just kind of like, here's some food, see you later? There you go, that is correct. Some of the patients who were brought here to Kalabal did not want to come here. So they were put in the water uh, forcefully. They just had to swim to shore. Thrown overboard. And now we have to keep in mind, many of the patients who were brought here already were in weak condition. Oh. So they didn't make it to shore, only the strong did. Those who survived the journey were among more than 8,000 patients who had called this place home over the years. Sister Alicia, a nurse by training, has seen much of it firsthand. She's been working with the patients here since 1965, over 50 years. If you arrive here as a five-year-old with leprosy, what is your rest of your life supposed to be like? Like, what? you're supposed to grow old on the island? Or? Absolutely. You were brought here to die. Oh. You were not able to leave the island. They were exiled here, and they were put here because the government didn't know how to control the disease at that time. They did not lift the ban until the mid-60s. So it took another 20 years for them to realize, oh, well, the, the, the drugs are working. That's right. Even after they cured the disease, patients were forced to stay here for two more decades. And the parents and the family couldn't come in. That when the families came in, they stayed at the visitors' quarters. If you go down to the visitors' quarters, there's a longhouse yeah. that's there. On one side, you would have the patients. On the other side, you would have the family members. And it was separated by a chicken screen, and they were not able to touch each other. Oh, One of the, you know, um, women, it was, it was. That's why my heart is here. That's why I need to come back until the last patient goes. Two of the colony's most important figures, Father Damien and Sister Marianne, were canonized as saints for their work turning shacks into houses, developing farms, and creating a school for the colony, which gradually improved living conditions for the patients. This is so interesting. At first glance, you think, well, you know, I guess if you got to go to a leper colony, this is the one to go to. Because from the outside, it looks like paradise. But then once you're here and you listen to the people, you realize that it's actually just a really beautiful prison. Guards were even posted along the cliffs in case someone tried to escape. Did anyone actually ever escape from this island? Yes, they did. Uh... Now, here in Hawaii, I don't know about other parts of the earth, Hansen disease or leprosy patients were treated like criminals. Yeah. They were subject to arrest. If they did escape, bounties were put on them. Bounty hunters went after them. Today, there are still a handful of elderly patients, now cured, who stay here voluntarily, a living legacy of this sad chapter in Hawaiian history. Once you get to know who they are as individual, as, as human beings, yeah. you know, your heart just goes out to them.